My name's Elijah, and you're watching Dolan's Pearls. Hey, you all. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that joined Dolan's Pearls. I hope you continue to stay with me on this journey. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button to be a part of the Dolan family. And my day one A1s, you already know. I see ya. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do... I actually heard about this. It's called Hurricane Popcorn. Now, Kahi, uh, let me know if you have this. I was told it was a Hawaiian uh, dish or snack, rather. And I actually grew up on everything that you see here. Of course, popcorn, we all had butter. Um, this stuff, you guys, is bomb. Now, it's basically, it's rice seasoning, but it's nori komi uh, furikake. Uh, for but basically, it's just uh, rice seasoning. And uh, that's what it looks like. Let's see if it focuses in. Now you all know, if you have me on Instagram, I did get a new uh, ring light. So now everything's fine. I love the way it works. But now everything that I have, you see the glare. So before the one I had, you wouldn't see that, that light hitting it. But anyways, that's all the stuff in it. Um, and then uh, we have rice crackers over here. Let me show you. Y'all see that? So you can basically find these at any Asian market. Um, most markets will have these, but um, if you go to an Asian market, you'll find these there. I grew up on these um, as a child. I still eat them to this day. I still eat this. Um, you can have it on steamed rice. A lot of people eat it with uh, fish, or they'll put it like on vegetables and that type of thing. But I normally just eat it with white rice, steamed rice. And I'll have like some boneless chicken. I won't put it on the chicken. So I'll put it on the rice and mix it up really good. And then I get the boneless chicken. I just kind of like shred it up. Um, you know, just chunk size, bite size. Um, and I'll put it in the roast. So basically like a little chicken bowl, but it has this in it. It's so good. Um, again, all markets have this. It's just rice seasoning. There's different ones. There's like four, I think four or five different flavors. This is the blue one though. And again, this one is called the Nori Komi for a cocky rice seasoning. Now, uh, Kahi, if you're, girl, I know you, you do watch my videos, honey. So let me know if you had this. Again, I was told it was a Hawaiian snack. So let me know if you had it and if so, if this is the way you do it. Now I heard instead of using butter, um, I've seen or I read there was, they use sesame oil instead of the butter. So let me know if you've done, if you use the oil or if you use butter. But I'm gonna tell you where I found this from. Um, but she used unsalted butter because everything pretty much here already has salt. So it's going to be salty as it is. So the butter that she used was unsalted. I had this, uh, smart balance. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, so basically you bake the popcorn. Now show what I was, I read up, I looked it up and, uh, it says to do the kernels like on, and I'm not going to go do all that with the oil. You can use coconut oil or whatever you want to pop the kernels. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> so and I don't want to get burned and I don't, yeah, you know, Dolan doesn't do the kitchen, honey. So anyways, we're doing microwave today. So I'm going to do the microwave pop. Um, well, pop secret is what I'm using. Uh, home style. I don't know, this one have butter? Yeah, so this has a sprinkle of salt and a taste of butter. So very, very light. Um, so basically you do the popcorn first, put it in a bowl. Once you do the bowl, uh, that's when you drizzle either the sesame oil or the butter. Now the butter, you just do it to your liking. She used, I believe, two or three tablespoons. Was it teaspoons or tablespoons? I think it was a tablespoon because if you have a big bucket. Um, so again, just do it to your liking. If you want two tablespoons of butter, um, shake it around. You can add another spoon if you like. Then when you're done with that, you add the rice seasoning. This is going to stick because it's still wet with the butter. So this is what's going to stick to the popcorn. Um, this also, I think she said it was like two or three tablespoons um, or to your liking. So if you like a lot of this stuff, like me, um, 
go ahead, it's to your taste. Then you add the uh, crackers to that. Let me show you what they look like. Now I'm glad, usually they sell big bag bags like this, but um, sometimes they have that little uh, zipper, little seal on top. And sometimes they don't. So you would have to have like, you know, those little clamps, whatever, so that they don't get stale. Now you all know if you watched me and my lives, when I, well, when I was doing my lives for a minute, um, even in my videos, Jessica, you already know. I, you guys, I don't care. It is what it is. It's me. I love stale stuff. I love stale chips, uh, especially Funyuns, Cheetos, oh, Doritos. When they're stale, you leave them out for like a day or two, honey. Yes. Yeah. So these are wrapped individually. So I'm glad for that. So these are what the rice crackers look like. And these, I, my sister, y'all know, is uh, Jojo. And if you're brand new to the channel, Jojo's my sister, um, which by the way, she's gonna start getting her videos out soon. So stand by for that, you all. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I would just buy these. My neighbor would get these for me. Um, growing up, we always had all some Japanese nuts. My neighbor, by the way, was half Japanese, half Hawaiian. So I grew up on all this stuff and I still eat it to this day. So anyways, it's four steps, you guys. It's rice crackers, the rice seasoning, the butter, and then the popcorn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the popcorn, get that ready. I'm gonna have the butter melted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up here and then we'll, we'll continue on. I'll tell you a little more where I found this recipe and more about this person that I'm gonna share with you guys. So um, show her some love, but I'll tell you who she is in a minute. I'll be right back. All right, you all, so we're back. So I have the popcorn already here. I have the butter right here. The rice crackers are ready to go. I got the mixing spoons. So, let's go ahead and put this together. So again, you could either use microwave or if you have the kernels, they usually, you know, come in a jar. You could pop your own, but I didn't feel like doing all that. So, we're gonna put in Dolin's purple bowl. There we go, perfect size. All right. There we go. Uh, now, I'll look before that. Let me open this up. And I bought a new one because I was running out of my other one. So it has a, you can see the inside. It's a large opening on top. All right, so we're gonna grizzle on the butter. And again, it already has butter in it. So that's best if you guys use a little mat, let me see. See that? And yeah, just do it to your liking. A little bit. Ooh. You guys see it kind of a little bit? Yep, now it's starting to look a little bit like the pictures. So it's very interesting, but I never would have ever uh, thought to have popcorn this way. All right, let's go ahead and put a little more. I mean, who doesn't like popcorn? This is really, I mean, everyone that I know usually loves popcorn. 
and they sometimes they just gotta be in the mood for it. But I can have popcorn like every day as a snack. I think I'm gonna add a little more. Yes, ma'am, got a little bit of butter left. Give that one more mix. So, Kahi, let me know if you have this honey. Kahi lives in Hawaii, you all. It's been basically one of my one of my darlings, uh, pretty much since the beginning of my channel. So, all right, can you see that? Look at that. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now we got the rice crackers. Now you can add as much as you want. Like I said, I grew up on these. I love these. They're like, like a cracker. These are also another goodie. So it's a rice cracker and it has a uh, sea... Ooh, excuse me. Seaweed wrapped around it so they're good on these two oh that was spicy yeah does it say spicy they usually have it's their there's a rice, it's still a, a rice cracker, but it's shaped like half a moon. Those are the spicy ones. They're good, not like head on spicy, but they have a little kick. You can't really see the huh? A couple of them right here. Let's add another bag, shall we? We all know that this is definitely not gonna go to waste. mix so this recipe our snack easy peasy all right y'all look at that so this is hurricane popcorn i've never heard of it so let's give it a try oh go ahead you all have try it where are my manners take a bite go ahead y'all Brittany, go ahead, honey. Go ahead, get your... Jessica, go ahead, honey, I'm waiting. Crystal, go ahead, Crystal. You all got some? Okay. Lindy B, Lindy, did you get some? Here, Lindy. Nate, Diane, there you go. Rick's wifey, help yourself. Ooh. Hey. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, this stuff is a bomb. I can definitely taste it. Let's pull that up. Yeah. Mmm. That is good. All right. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped that. There you go, hurricane popcorn. Put this on the side. Let me tell you where I found this. Now, you all. Okay, so a little bit about this, let me see. So anyways, this is a, um, so it's Japanese seasoning. See that? Uh, let's see. So a lot of people use it, like I was telling you, just rice, some people put it on fish, they put it on vegetables. Um, heaven, blah blah blah. What was I gonna read? I was gonna show you guys something, but anywho, this is a picture, you guys. Sorry about the light, that's what it looks like. Uh, there's a second one, and this is like without the rice crackers, so it's just the popcorn and uh, the furikake. So it's really really good. But let me show you. 
So, did it go away? Yeah, hold on, y'all. Let me... There she is. So her name is Kristen, you guys. Kristen G. Now, she doesn't, she doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything, but she is... Um, she does Instagram. And her name is Kristen... Kristen G. Her uh, Instagram is Hapa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hapa Homecoming. So this is what her Instagram looks like, you guys. Again, I'm trying to get... Sorry about the ring light. If you see that, you can do a screenshot, maybe. Sorry if it's blurry. Um, and then those are just some of the pictures. So if you see that first one, that blue square, that's the most recent one. So if you see that, you're on the right, uh, right page. So if you guys love, and I know some of you like mukbangers, um, people who eat, people who do recipes, um, she does it, but she does it on, she doesn't eat. She'll taste test and she'll taste uh, some of the stuff, but not like how like us mukbangers will sit there and have a whole meal. But so what she does, I love it because she's so, you guys, everything is like neat. Everything's proper. Everything has structure. When she's in her kitchen, everything is clean down to her dishes everything is just i uh, i when i first okay so i found her on just 8 8 if you're watching honey hey hey louise um this is where i found her on just 8 8's channel uh, she on fridays just 8 8 promotes uh content creators i think it's called flat um something i forgot but anyways friday she promotes like upcoming or new uh, uh content creators uh, and so she uploaded her so I had a look and I absolutely fell in love with her Instagram She's very very positive very inspirational. Uh, she's a nurse you guys um, and so She's always putting and another thing too. We all have like Stuff that's gonna expire whether it's vegetables or fruit um, She has good ideas creative ideas how to use it when you use it before you know rather than throwing it out um so she's very creative when it comes to that. Does a lot of baking, uh, cooking. So definitely, I'm gonna have her, uh, the name of her Instagram, I was gonna say, <laughs> subscribe to her, follow her on Instagram. Again, this is her again. Sorry for the picture being blurry, but this is the first picture, you all. Uh, so this is actually, what is this? And it's funny, cause she was just, this one, the recent one she just posted, uh, she likes chipotle and chipotle has a corn salsa and so she made it at home so that's the salsa that she has so anyways if you find her and you find this blue blue background with the corn salsa that's her um click on her follow her i guess it doesn't cost anything it's free again if you like watching this is where i got it from new recipes like this whether it's snacks or food um and so you're not wasteful um, have a look and, you know, just click on that and just, you know, leave her a little message saying, you know, Dolan sent you. Um, she just actually liked one of my, I had pizza yesterday and I had some garlic cheese bread. It was bomb. And uh, so she gave it a heart and stuff like that. So, but yeah, definitely check her out. Show her some love. Uh, I hope one day she does have a YouTube channel because I know she would be so like successful on there. And she's really successful right now on um, Instagram. So she's from Maryland. What is it? I think she's from Maryland. Um, but she's a home cook. She's a nurse. And underneath her Instagram, she says, I teach approachable, flavorful recipes. Grateful for every day in the kitchen. And um, lay, lay Sisters. Hey, that's another one. Um, we definitely, I follow on, um, there's also YouTube and as well as Instagram. So I see you, Lay Sisters. How you doing? Uh, so definitely, you guys, show her some love again. Um, either screenshot this the close-up I showed up or I'll put it in the description below just click on the link Go show her some love. Like I said, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. Um, she also has uh, What was it? She does the Amazon. She has the Amazon shop page as well So she has a couple of stuff on Amazon through her so definitely check it out But this is where I got the recipe guys. Like I said uh, she posts daily um, just about every day recipes um, so it's more of like a cooking uh, channel, snacks, this thing. Sometimes she'll put like her personal um, her days where she'll like, I think today she was out on the river 
around the back of her house. You guys, it, she where she lives is beautiful. Her backyard, you go out in this little grass area, and then there's like a little river. And uh, so she was uh, on her little uh, canoe, and uh, she went sailing, or sailing, uh, just canoeing down the, what do you call it? So, uh, but every now and then, but mainly it's focuses on food. So this is where I got it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is called Hurricane Popcorn. You don't have to put the, if you don't like the, the Asian crackers in it, tell just the popcorn alone. And the seasoning is bomb. Um, again, most of the stuff already has salt, so preferably, she says, use the unsalted butter or sesame oil. Um, but I love everything. I, like I said, I grew up on these Asian crackers. Um, Mama Dolly used to make the rice for us when we were little. Um, and the seasoning, like I said, my next door neighbor was half Japanese, half uh, Hawaiian. So definitely grew up a lot on this stuff. Um, but anywho, you guys, I wanted to come and share this with you. Um, if you liked it, uh, let me know in the description below. Kahi, if you had this, I was told or heard it was a Hawaiian dish. But um, So let me know if you had it. If any of y'all either tried this or had it before, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, or if you plan on trying it, let me know. Like I said, I read all the comments. I read every each and every comment. I do respond back. So I love hearing from you guys. Um, other than that, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media, however you see fit. Uh, just trying to get Dolan's Pearls out there, you all. So share it on your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever you have. Um, again, give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Until then, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye.